Now, driving Tampa Bay forward, get ready to see some major changes in an already congested area in Pasco County. Construction crews have been working to transform State Road 56 and I-75 into what's called a diverging diamond interchange. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee is on our live drive this morning going through what to expect out there. Good morning, Heather. Hey, good morning, Dia. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, so this is your standard intersection. It's really the way most of the intersections are designed here in Tampa. We're actually about to make a U-turn and go right back through that area, uh, but this is going to completely change by Sunday, and it's likely to cause some confusion in the area. I-75 and State Road 54. It's a spot drivers in this area know all too well. There's a lot of stores up there, the outlet malls up there, lots of restaurants, a lot of shopping. It's a very, very congested area. All those cars add to the frustration and lack of patience out here, and that leads to crashes. It's why FDOT decided a diverging diamond is the answer. The main thing that drivers will notice is we're going to take State Road 56 traffic to the left side of the road through the interchange and then cross them back over to the right side of the road on the opposite side of the interchange. And this is really going to help with allowing those vehicles to enter the interstate without waiting at that left turn signal. And by eliminating that left turn, FDOT says it limits crashes because it takes away contact points between cars driving in opposite directions. And while construction has been going on in the area for a while, beginning Friday at 11, most of the intersection will close down. Motorists will notice it'll be very different come Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. And of course, Monday will be the true test out there. But they're not going to be at full capacity. So instead of three lanes in each direction, it's going to be two lanes of each direction. So we just ask for everybody's patience as we get this project completed. Which is why it may be a good idea to take a test run Sunday evening ahead of your Monday morning commute. This map shows you the spots that will still be open on the weekend, the ramp to I-75 southbound and the 75 northbound exit ramp to State Road 56 will remain open. Well, you guys are not going to believe this, but we are just making that U-turn right now to head back through that intersection. This is one of the longest lights I've sat at in a while. Uh, your best detours this weekend will be Bruce B. Downs, Dale Mabry, or US 41. And of course, we're going to post these details on our website, abcactionnews.com, later today so that you can go ahead and plan your weekend and your morning commute. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back here so that you can see me. Again, we're making our way through this intersection. We will have uh, another update on this story for you in about an hour. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, ABC Action News. It is a headache. I travel it every week. Well, if you want to know more about work being done in your area, you want us to look into a problem that you're having. Tell us about it. You can call our tip line or send us an email. Our contact information is also on abcactionnews.com. Just look in the Driving Tampa Bay Forward section.